Hey everybody, Will Hamilton, Jan Ozu. Hi guys. And we are back to do another video. This is kind of uh, you know an add-on to the uh, the Inside Man video that we released last week. Absolutely. And if we cut to the back perspective, you'll see we've got some cones lined up here. So talk us through how this drill is going to work and how this kind of augments and supplements what we work what we worked on in the uh, the Inside Man video. Well, I call this drill the wannabe Inside Man. The wannabe, man. all right. Okay. And the reason why is because. Most rec players have the tendency to be, stay behind the baseline and we want to gradually get them comfortable going from region 1 to region 2 to region 3 to region 4, which okay. is close to the net. And they have to just feel that this is just a comfort zone, okay, mm -hmm. and not be fearful of going in. Yeah, most rec players kind of hang out here yeah. and then I'm just going to camp and that's out okay, here. And that's okay, you know, it. but that's only literally 25% of the game. Then you have the other 75% of the game which happen inside. So we want to get them comfortable moving to region one, sorry, region two, then region three, and then region four, and, and back. This, and this is sort of what we worked on with the inside man, but the inside man drill, we were essentially here, Correct. getting comfortable in no man's land, uh -huh. but now we're just going to go the whole progression Absolutely. forward and back. We're going to layer it from the baseline all the way to the net all right. and back. All right. And, and yeah, speaking of layering, which is the concept of sort of just adding more and more elements. You know, you, you, you start with something like, let's say, modern tennis footwork, which Correct. we worked on a while ago. Absolutely. Now the walking step, the hopping step, and so on. That stuff should be comfortable and, and somewhat intuitive. Mm -hmm. So now that it's intuitive, we add another concept. And once we've that, once that has become intuitive, once you've kind of, you know, you've, you've focused on it, but then you've got it, then Absolutely. you add something on top of that. So you're, you know, you're layering, you're building up all these concepts. We're getting you comfortable from point A to mm -hmm. point Z, basically, right. so that you get comfortable with everything in between. Okay, nice. Well, let's uh, let's get to the drill. So, well, you have the baseline now, and again, your job is going to be to be the, be the distributor. All right. And I'm going to start in region one. So you're going to be working on different depth, okay, to keep me here at first, and then gradually you're going to move me in, and I'm going to spend about 15 to 30 seconds inside each region so that I get comfortable with it. Okay. okay? And for the viewers out there, you know, some of you may think that this is actually a very simple drill and for a beginner player when in fact you can increase the intensity of this drill at will. Okay, you don't have to keep it slow. We tend to do it at about 50% of, you know, our regular speed just so the viewers out there can actually understand what's going on. But you can by all means, you know, if you feel like you're a 4550 and above type of player, you can certainly increase the intensity of the drill. Okay? So you're going to keep me in zone number one here, all right, by playing deep. That's right. Region one. Okay, and I'm going to just keep working really hard here. You know, I can work on my depth. All right. And the footwork that I'll use here is, again, trying to use modern footwork to try to gradually find myself moving in. Like right now, I'm using the hopping step. All right, so now I can pull you in. That's right, you move me in, I use the walking step to move in, now I'm in, and what you notice is, again, I start to work on taking the ball early, or earlier. Go ahead, very good, okay, and you want to be using modern footwork inside region one and region two as well. So I can pull you in again. That's right, you pull me in again. So now I'm here, and if you happen to play very deep, I can take that ball in the air. All right. All right. So that's it. So a couple. All right. Maybe an Thank overhead you. off the uh, the shank. Very good. Okay. And now I'm going to go to region four. Now I'm at the net. Okay. And what people notice when they're here, okay, is you're working on a different set of skills. Okay. Excellent. Good volley there. Okay. Oh, that was a nice pocket. <laughs> there you go. And then, if you want to push me back, you can use the lob. Okay. So I can nice work pocket. on the overhead too. That's right. You push me back to zone region two. Now I'm here. Okay. So Excellent. now you start to back up a little bit. That's right. You can back me up. And now I'm all the way back. So it's sort of merging the round trip drills uh -huh. with the footwork drills and the inside man, okay? Great players are excellent 
moving from region one where I am uh -huh. to region two. Okay. Oh, that was a so little really too short. So really, what you want to do is get comfortable from region one where I uh -huh. am, right here. As soon as I recognize a shorter ball, I go to region two. Okay. And, okay. and if this shot right here draws something good, I go to region three. All right. Okay. Then I move in to region four. Gotcha. Okay. So the last thing we want to do to round out this drill is talk a little bit about shot selection. Because Jan, you were just saying how as you move forward, right. your shot selection is going to change. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, absolutely. Each region is basically designed for a particular type of play. So when you're in region one, where we stand right now, your shots are mostly going to be neutral. For the back, the rally ball. Correct. Somewhat defensive, but mostly neutral. And as you progressively move up regions, what you'll notice is obviously you're getting inside, you have mm -hmm. less time, but you're also taking time away from your opponent. So now you're in region number two. And in here, those are most of your setup shots. When you take the ball early, walking step, you start to mm -hmm. create angles. Could be that approach shot. Could be that approach shot. As you move closer, you know, you move into region three, from here, this is really where you start to see the court over the net. Now your angles start to become a lot more apparent. Mm -hmm. If you pay attention to where we stand, now you see this huge area over the net. And really from here, you should be hitting the ball down, okay, instead of upward. Mm -hmm. And what Come people, through it more. Correct. What you'll notice from the back, you're mostly finishing up here. And as you move closer, you should really try to finish down here. Okay. okay. Maybe more of that windshield wiper more finish that windshield where wiper it's across finish. the body versus exactly. up the shoulder. And finding more angles because they become more apparent. And then obviously you have the volley. So all here is sort of a transition area. Okay, and the shot selection is very different. And what happens is people that never train in here, okay, that mostly train back there, once they get in here, they get confused because their shot selection back there no longer applies here. So it's very important for people to work on the inside man drill and also incorporate the wannabe inside man drill because you want to go from there to here. Well, I think, yeah, I think if we go back to the inside man drill where you're back here right inside the baseline, you know, first of all, most people, like we said in that video, uncomfortable playing in here. Absolutely. But if you do that drill a little while, you're going to get comfortable with Just it. Just as comfortable as you are back there. Exactly. But what we haven't done yet, and what this drill does, is now you're working on, like you said, the different shot selection. So you're forced to transition between the various types of shots you're going to be hitting over the course of a point. So once you've got that inside man drilled down, absolutely go to this. Because, like you said, you know, tennis is not just about the rally ball behind the baseline. Exactly. It's not just about the inside man. It's moving up. And then the final point, at least I would make, is you know, as you play back there and as you move forward, the type of ball you're going to be hitting in, in terms of having to deal with mm -hmm. is going to be different. You have less time. It might be higher on some of those balls. So you're going to have to make adjustments and learn to deal with those different types of, uh, of shots your opponent is giving you. So very valuable for... Uh, for both the shot selection and your ability to handle a variety of shots that your opponent is throwing at you. That's excellent. Well, great way to put it. Did you know that there are only five simple things you need to do to have a textbook forehand like Roger Federer? If you click the link in the description of this video and visit our website, you'll learn why Federer's forehand is so good and how you can copy his technique. And this entire 45-minute lesson is 100% free. Join the thousands who have already learned what these five simple things are and take control of your forehand today.